Hello, welcome. In this session, we look at this question on permutations, which says how many arrangements are there of all the letters of the word mathematics if A, the vowels must be together, B, if the word eyes must appear in each arrangement. So to begin, we have to separate the vowels from the consonants and it should be noted that the vowels have to be in a block so i've put them in a block because they must be together while there are seven other letters which are the consonants separated now if i have to make an arrangement of the word mathematics such that the vowels appear together then I would have to use the principle of counting, the fundamental principle of counting, whereby if there are options, the number of arrangements are linked by the word and, I have to multiply. So in doing the arrangements, I will first look at the way the vowels can be arranged amongst themselves because as they are together, there is possibility of them reshuffling their positions and that would have a multiplying effect on the number of arrangements. Then, what you simply do is take the block of the vowels and join to the consonants being seven. So there are seven consonants. I will take the block of vowels and add to the number of consonants. So it will be as if I'm arranging one this block then two three four five six seven and eight and remember that there are repeat repetitions amongst the consonants as well as there are repetitions amongst the vowels so actually what i will do to have the arrangements in which the vowels will be together will be to find the number of ways i would arrange the vowels and then take the block of vowels and add to the consonants and find the number of ways in which I can arrange the block of vowels together with the consonants so that I get the total number of ways. So in the first step, I have to look at the number of ways the vowels can be arranged in that block. So the block of vowels can be arranged in four factorial over two factorial ways remember in that block of vowels there are two vowels that are the same the a is repeated and generally the number of ways of arranging n distinct objects in a row or in a straight line is n factorial but then if i consider that those letters a e a i are all distinct then i have to arrange them in a row in four factorial ways but then the a's are not distinct so there is a repetition of the a's which now gives a multiplying factor of two factorial on the total number of arrangements and so to reduce that redundancy in which the a's are being permitted as if they were different letters i have to divide the four factorial which is simply the number of ways of arranging the four letters as if they were distinct uh, by two factorial because there are two a's that have repeated in that way i will now get the exact number of arrangements of the vowels in that block and the next step i would now have to join the block of vowels together with the seven uh, consonants so that the block of vowels now acting as one entity I add it to the seven consonants it makes eight so arranging this setup of the block of vowels with the seven consonants I have eight factorial it's again as if I'm arranging eight distinct objects the block of vowels plus the seven consonants and in such a way there are repetitions in which that block of vowels is already a distinct entity but the consonants have repetitions there are two m's and there are two t's so there is again redundancy as i'm doing the arrangement of eight factorial as if 
the letters or the blocks or the entities were distinct since they aren't distinct the multiplying effect of the m's and the t's has to be removed by dividing by two factorial the two factorial coming from the permutation of the m's which were supposed not to be permitted because they are the same then times two factorial again because the t's are also two and we need to remove the redundancy produced by the erroneous permutation of the two t's and so finally i would have that the number of arrangements with the vowels together would be the arrangement of the block of vowels times the arrangement of the block of vowels together with the consonants which should give the number of ways now when you simplify 4 factorial over 2 factorial you have 12 and when you simplify 8 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial you have 10,080 and so multiplying the two we have that the number of ways of arranging all the letters of the word mathematics in such a way that the vowels are together would be 120,960 ways there is also another approach in solving this problem we instead consider the number of ways of arranging the vowels we also consider the number of ways of arranging the consonants and so in order to get now the total number of arrangements i will take the number of arrangements for the block of vowels times the number of arrangements of the consonants and then times the number of ways i can take the block of vowels and fit in between the consonants which should normally be one two three four five six seven and then eight so in the alternative method the first thing the block of vowels can be arranged in four factorial over two factorial ways as already explained in the first method then the consonants can be arranged in seven factorial all over two factorial times two factorial ways remember again we have seven consonants in which the t's appear twice and the m's appear twice and so seven factorial all over two factorial times two factorial will be the number of ways of arranging the consonants then now we also look at in how many ways we can fit the block of vowels between the consonants and this can be done in eight ways as we have already counted up it's either in front of the m or between the m and the t or between the t and the h or between the h and the m m and t t and c c and s or even behind we counted it gave eight ways of taking those block or that block of vowels and fitting in between the consonants and so the total number of ways we have to multiply the options because those options are being linked by the word and so in fact we have to say the block of vowels can be arranged in four factorial over two factorial ways and the consonants can be arranged in seven factorial over two factorial times two factorial ways and then the block of vowels can be fitted between the consonants in eight ways since the options are linked by the word and we have to multiply them to arrive the number of ways this is in accordance with the fundamental principle of counting and so the total number of ways in which we can arrange the uh, all the letters of the word mathematics in which the vowels are together would be the number of ways in which the vowels can be fitted in between the consonants times the number of ways of arranging the, cons uh, the vowels and then times the number of ways of arranging the consonants and when you simplify you have 8 times 12 times 1260 which gives again 120,960 ways in the second part of the question they are asking us to find the number of ways in which all the letters of the word mathematics would be arranged in such a way that the word eyes appears in all the arrangements and so again we isolate the letters of the word eyes and then the rest of the letters there are three letters in the word eyes and it should be noted that there is only one way of arranging those letters to form the word eyes so 
that means the word eyes can only be written in one way the letters can't be shuffled or reshuffled again because when they are reshuffled they give but different words and not the word eyes then the rest of the letters are one two three four five six seven and eight and it should be noted that there are repetitions there the m's are repeated so there are two m's the a's are repeated and the t's are also repeated and so one way again of solving this part would be to look at the number of ways in which we can write the word eyes then join that block of that word to the other letters and then make an arrangement as if we are arranging nine distinct objects because the rest of the letters are eight and then the block of the word eyes is just one item that we are adding to the rest of the letters eight of them to make nine so the first thing we are going to write is that the word eyes can be written in one way and the word together with the other letters can be arranged in 9 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial again we have 2 m's 2 a's and 2 t's that is why we have 2 factorial 3 times the next thing would be to look now at the number of ways that we can arrange all the letters of the word mathematics in such a way that the word eyes appears in each of the arrangements so we take the number of ways in which can write the word eyes which is one times the number of ways we can combine the block of that word eyes with the rest of the eight letters and then do an arrangement as if they were just nine items we were arranging so that as already explained above it gives nine factorial over two factorial times two factorial times two factorial and so when you simplify you have that one times 45 1360 should give the number of ways which is 45,360 ways again another method would be in which we consider again the number of ways we can arrange the word eyes and it is only one way you can only write the word eyes in one way and then we look at the way we can arrange the rest of the letters which are up here and there are eight of them with repetitions so eight factorial over two factorial times two factorial times two factorial ways then we look at how many ways we can fit the word eyes in between the rest of the letters and since there are eight of them there are eight plus one spaces in between the letters so it makes nine spaces so we say the word eyes can be fitted between the other letters in nine ways and so the total number of ways again will be by multiplying the options number of ways of writing the word eyes times the number of ways of arranging the rest of the letters times the number of ways of taking that word eyes and fitting it in between the other letters which gives one times eight factorial over two factorial times two factorial times two factorial times nine and upon simplification we have 1 times 5040 times 9 which gives 45360 ways again as before thanks for watching and see you in the next video